Hey there guys and welcome back to another video. In today's video we're going to take a look at this external hard drive from Toshiba. So this is the Toshiba Canvio Advance. Uh, the one I have here is the two terabyte model in black. However, this does come in a couple different variations. So it does come in a one terabyte, two terabyte, and four terabyte model. And it also comes in a couple different colors as well. Uh, so it comes in black like I have here, green, red, white, and blue. And uh, they, they have different variations of the Canvio Advance. Uh, so they have a backup, backup 2.0, and a gaming version. Um, this one looks like it's just the regular storage version. Uh, so let's so see what comes in the box. First, we'll take a look at the box. As you can see, we have a picture of the hard drive itself. Now, this is not an SSD. This is a regular hard drive. And as you can see at the bottom, it does say Canvio Advanced, backup software integrated, password protection software, and the two-year limited warranty. On the side, it does have its compatibility. So it says it's compatible. It's formatted for NTFS for Windows 10 or Windows 8.1. You would have to reformat it to use it with Mac, which I will be doing, but it is compatible with both, so you can use it with both. Compatibility may vary depending on user's hardware configuration and operating system. And then it says it uses USB 3.2 Gen 1, a type A to micro B, and that cable is included. And then it just shows you what's included. So it uses, it has the hard drive itself, a little booklet, as well as the cable to connect it. And then on the back, it just shows some more information here, backup software, free download, and password protection software, free download, and then some more information down at the bottom. So let's go ahead and open it up and see what we get inside. So right up front and center, we have a quick start guide and it is in a couple different languages as well. It tells you the contents that are included, of course, the hard drive, cable, and the quick start guide. It tells you how to connect the drive to your computer. It tells you to use the supplied cord and obviously to not disconnect the drive while it is in use. So if you're in the middle of copying something, don't disconnect it, of course. Uh, it says the software installation instructions. So a free copy of the storage security software and storage backup software can be downloaded at the following link. And then if you need help, it has your technical uh, and warranty information down at the bottom. And then you have a declaration of conformity information, uh, which basically just says this conforms to FCC rules and regulations and all that stuff. So that's interesting that you have that. And then we should have our hard drive itself here. And here it is, as well as our included cable, which is, again, USB-A. And then the other end is a type B connector, but it is of course a fast type B connector. So that is the connector there. And then we have our super speed USB 3.2. And here is our hard drive. So as you can see, we have Toshiba branding at the top. We do have a nice texture on the top as well. It almost looks like it's a fabric texture. Uh, this is a 2.5 inch uh, drive. As you can see, it's very, very thin. We do have that connector on the side and nothing else. And then on the bottom, it shows you this Toshiba portable storage. You have your model number, serial number, and regulatory information as well. All right, so here we are at the computer. I have uh, connected the hard drive. And what you can see when you first plug it in is it is using a blue light when it is in operation. And it is a regular hard drive, so you'll be able to feel it working uh, if you do touch it. Now what's included on the drive is just two files. So you have the two year limited warranty, which is a PDF file, 223 kilobyte file. And then we have a software link uh, for the backup software and security software. So if we double click that, we can take a look at what they offer. So as you can see, we have the storage backup software and that's available for a couple of different models of the Canvio uh, drives. You can see we have a software version of 1.41.0508 from September 11th of 2020. It is compatible with Windows 8.1 and Windows 10, a 9.5 megabyte EXE file. You have a 14 megabyte PDF file, which is kind of funny. The manual is larger than the actual software itself. And you have a release notes PDF of 11 kilobytes. You also have security software available. And that one is a software version of 1.40.0410 uh, from April 20th, 2020. Compatible with Windows 8.1 and Windows 10. You have an EXE file of 13.1 megabytes, a PDF of the manual for uh, 7.96 megabytes, as well as a PDF file of 417 megabytes. So you have those two options if you wanted to download that software that is available for free. And to see how much storage we have available, we'll go ahead and right click on the drive, and then we will check out the properties. And what we have available is uh, 1.81 terabytes out of the two terabytes, and then you have 162 megabytes of used space. So that is it. So you don't have a full two terabytes of space as it's formatted, 
but you do have nearly that, so that's pretty good. All right, after doing a quick read and write speed test with Crystal Decimark on this drive, uh, you can see we get 152 megabyte of read speed and write speed is 130, uh, so that's not too bad. Obviously, it's not SSD uh, write and read speeds, but it's still pretty decent. Now, of course, this is uh, if you connect it to a uh, super speed USB uh, port on your computer. So if you use a regular port, like a USB 2.0 port, that's probably going to be uh, maybe in the uh, low 30s. Uh, but when you're connected to a regular uh, USB 3 port, it'll actually run uh, decently well. So let's go ahead and actually test this out by uh, moving some files over the drive and see how well that works because this is the super scientific way of doing it. But we'll go ahead and open here. And I have a 3.89 uh, gigabyte uh, file folder here. As you can see, 3.89 gigabytes. So we're going to move that over and just see how fast that goes. So we'll just copy it over. And as you can see, we're getting 142 megabytes per second, so that's pretty good. It'll probably fluctuate just a little bit going through, but for about 20 seconds, that's not too bad. All right, so there you go, a nearly four gig uh, folder full of stuff uh, that moved over in less than 30 seconds, so that's not too bad at all. If you're wondering if this drive will work on a Mac, the short answer is yes. However, it is formatted in NTFS, which basically means that you can load anything from Windows and read anything from Windows. Now, when you put this on your Mac, you can actually access the files on your Mac, and you can actually open them and move them and all that stuff, but you cannot actually write to the drive. So you cannot actually move anything from your Mac to this drive in NTFS format. The format you wanna use for the drive, if you wanna access it on a Mac and on Windows and be able to read and write to both is XFAT. So you will have to go back in and actually reformat the drive before you can use them on both Mac and Windows. So there you guys have it. Just a quick look at the Toshiba Canvio Advance. Uh, this one is a two terabyte model in black. Uh, this, it comes in at a price of $57.99 for the black version. They vary in price depending on, of course, the storage model and the color that you choose. But if you're looking for a backup drive or just a storage drive in general that's uh, decently fast and has a lot of storage to offer, this might be a good choice. So anyway, guys, uh, if you have any questions or comments on this one, feel free to leave them down below. I'll leave a link down below where you can check this out as well. And I'll see you guys in the next video.